That's not a secret that HubSpot and Pipedrive is one of the best CRM systems, but they have a lot of features that most companies doesn't use. And especially if you are a really small company, up to five people, you sometimes doesn't need all the features that are inside the Pipedrive or even in the HubSpot. So here in today's video, I will show you how you can create really simple CRM system that looks much better than your Google Sheets. Today I will show you how you can create actually CRM system for free and it's not a system that lo looks ugly and it's very easy to do. Within 10-15 minutes you have fully organized CRM system. And for that we're going to use NoCodeDB. It's very simple a tool. It's very actually similar to Airtable but for less price and you also can actually run it locally. And by the way, if you want to locally run NoCodeDB, I highly suggest you to visit my community on School Monetize AI Agents. And you can find this at the third classroom, self-hosting NoCode tools. And link is down below in description. And now let's continue the tutorial. Here is the NoCodeDB pricing. You can choose the free plan, which will give you five users, 10,000 rows and one gigabyte storage and five request calls per second, which is a lot. You won't use that many. So right now I am inside the NoCodeDB and I have created here a new base. You can do it yourself by just clicking here, create a base and name it as you wish. I have created a new base which contains the following structure. I have named this table contacts and companies and I will explain you a little bit later why and you also going to understand them. the following columns you can adjust as you wish but these are the minimum required that you need to have. The first thing is the company name then you put the first name you also can put like your specific columns that you need for example last name address and so forth. Then I have an email address, the LinkedIn URL, website, and here are two most important columns that you need to have. First one is single select. I'm gonna call it like a stage. These are the stages that are in pipeline, the cold stage, contact made, meetings booked. You can add anything you want. Call later, for example, stage and add it here as you wish and also change the colors if you need. And the last one is name pipeline. Here I name the, all the pipelines I have and I can uh, define here in which pipeline they are. And also it's single select. Next thing what we need to do is uh, create a view. Here I have created two views. You can just create a view and let's say I'm gonna use a uh, Kanban and I'm going to call it a B2B new and we will stack by the stage. So that's mean this new is stacking by the stage. Called, contact, contact made, call later, meeting booked, one, lost. By default, it always is going to show you unorganized. That's fine. You just collapse them and you won't see them again. You can adjust the view. I always choose no image. For example, I don't need email address. I just want to see, for example, website and the name and the company name. And here you can see company name, my, like my name and website. And here you can easily move them between the stages if you need. And also before we move on, we need actually filter the pipelines here. As it's B2B, I need to filter here B2B. And yep, now I only see the B2B pipeline. You can make as many pipelines you wish and here you can move between stages. Here you can cre uh, create as many contacts you wish, as many companies add here. But the thing is here you always need to have companies attached to the contacts. And here you always can uh, filter the company name by company name or by first name, email, LinkedIn, website, whatsoever. You can always do it here manually. I don't suggest here to use any filters. If you want to have some specific filter view, create, for example, new one, use a grid and name it company this. Okay. And then you have a new view and then you create new filter and here you have all the data. Also, you can create from this main, you also can create a calendar view. And let's say when we had a last meeting here, we need to add the date and save. And let's add that we have a call, let's say on the 14th January this year. And here you can create a new view, a calendar view. So you will see when you had last meeting, and you can see here's the meetings that have taken place. And for example, when you, you want something, you can move the meetings and so forth. And how you can update, for example, statuses. Let's go to B2C pipeline. And here in a meeting booked session, I want to add some comments. And here you can add comments. We had a great call. And the cool thing is that you can have with no code up to five users for free. And everybody can use here, all your colleagues can use this one view 
or even this one base and add all the parameters you need. Also, it's easy to just copy and uh, send to somebody the record. Okay, and uh, that's it. And also here you can uh, add like a user or company name, anything you wish. And also you can use NATN to automate few parts of these workflows. And by the way, don't forget to join our Monetize AI Agent Automation Group, where I share all the templates that we create on this channel. And also don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos. Let me know down below if this was useful and what kind of videos you want to see more this channel. Okay. Have a nice one.